What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate guide to Goro as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips, tricks, and strategies, and of course some best character recommendations to pair him up with. Goro. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So Goro's got a couple things going on. He's got a lot of cameo moves and the first one is a standard cameo move that raise the roof and that allows for good combo extension. But you also have down cameo and up cameo and that's gonna control the spacing of the raise the roof move. So for an example, if we just do cameo, it's gonna be right by us. But if we do down cameo, it's mid screen and up cameo is full screen. So the reason why that might matter is because you really wanna know where do your combos end and where do they put your opponent when it comes to distance. So if you know your combo pushes your opponent further away than normal, you might wanna use down cameo instead or characters like Rain might put a trap at full screen and then use the up cameo version. That way they're trapped hits low it's full screen trap and then Goro comes out and does his raise the roof so just keep track of like where your opponent's gonna be so that we can use raise the roof most effectively and now your forward cameo is of course the walking punches you love to see it great damage and honestly so much fun to use I love using that moving combos Also, that walking punch, your forward cameo does gain armor on wake up and here's how it might look And what's really cool about that forward walking punch is if hit even during a combo, this puts your character at almost full screen and a lot of characters benefit off of that because then they can do their ability, they can set traps, whatever it is you wanna do as a character that wants full screen spacing, that move offers it. So it's just a great way to control the space in a match. Now your back cameo is a cameo that grabs your opponent from the air. As you see, it won't grab our opponent from the ground. We gotta do that inside of a combo. But as you can see here, it throws our opponent over us, switching sides first of all, which is a great tactic, but also allows for combo extension, like so. Because of the switches sides, that might be a great way to get out of a corner. If you're in the corner and you want to put your opponent in the corner, that's a great move to do so. Now, Goro has one more final cameo move, which is his classic air stomp. And that, of course, is unblockable. Thing is, you gotta press cameo when he comes out, and before he does the raise the roof, you have to do cameo again, and then he'll do the air stomp. Now, with that being said, that move using cameo twice to do the air stomp does use your entire cameo gauge. So you'd use it once for raise the roof, and then you'd use it again, and that's why it uses your entire cameo gauge. It's unblockable, so it can be a great tool for pressure, make your opponent want to move or teleport or something, but because it uses your entire cameo gauge, it's something you want to commit to, and if you do so, be prepared to no longer have your cameo gauge. Just something to be aware of. Goro offers a ton of tools as a cameo that I believe benefit a ton of characters and that almost any player may be able to utilize in their fights but a couple characters that i think benefit a bit more off of his moveset are characters that might stay away a little bit more during the match than most characters like shang so that likes to zone out his opponents he can then create that spacing and then use goro's unblockable air stomp a really crazy mix-up is using katana or rain to set up traps make your opponent want to block those and then use goro's unblockable air stomp what the crap is your opponent gonna do right characters that can keep your opponent in the air for a long enough time to do the air grab to switch sides or characters like Raiden with his specials, Sub-Zero when your opponent's air frozen, Lee Mei with the lantern air pop-ups, and Garrus by freezing time. Or even Natara because she loves being in the air. We know that. It's a great tool to utilize after Reptile's force ball or even Melina's ball move to switch sides again and again. You see what I mean? There are just so many characters that benefit off of Goro's cameo's moveset that it's so hard to narrow it down. These are just my recommendations, guys. Let me know down below. What do you think of Goro as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1? And who would you pair him up with? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.